Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome to Airport CEO. Now this is a game that I have seen frequently advertised on Steam and I've kind of overlooked it because it's a bit 2D. I was looking like, mm, yeah, it looks alright, but uh, it was in the uh, the Black Friday sale on Steam. And I thought, you know what, in for a penny, in for a pound, let's have a go at this. And it's actually flipping awesome, I can tell you that for a fact. Uh, so we're going to be basically today building our airport. So I'm just going to go straight onto uh, onto new airport now. Uh, I think it's about three years old. This game. It was in early access. It's now uh, now classed as a full release, as far as I'm aware. So we need to just choose our face. I mean, that's all right. That's that's fairly all right. We'll uh, let's have a look that's just about that. I mean, it looks absolutely nothing like me. But, uh, I mean, you see, I, I think that's probably the hair to go, but someone pointed out to me it's a bit Boris Johnson, so I think we'll, uh, I think we'll go with something like that. There we go. It looked a little bit neat for me. I, I don't really have hair that neat. Normally I look like I've been dragged through a hedge. Uh, but, uh, we'll just, I, I mean, I am very pale, but I don't like to admit it to myself. Bit of brown eyes there, bit of a nose. And, uh, I don't know why the mouths are always so awful. There we go. Uh, we'll have a, we'll, we'll have a, uh, let's have a look. I mean, given I think this will probably be a disaster, we'll have an open collar. It gives a casual approach to uh, to everything, doesn't it? There we go. So, Joe Dobson, that will be me. And, uh, and you get to choose where in the world you uh, you get to build your airport. So, uh, let's zoom in here. And uh, it actually tells you when you click what your nearest city is. So, you've got like Doncaster or Leeds. I reckon we're going to pop it in about Huddersfield. I mean, I don't think that's Huddersfield. I think Huddersfield's... And a more, more around there. But we'll pop it there anyway. That That is where we're going to build our airport. I think that's more like Bradford. Uh, I mean, I know that that's Liverpool. So Manchester's about here. I think Huddersfield's about here. Leeds. And then on to Hull. Um, so yeah, I, I think we're probably more. Uh, but that'll do. That'll do. So nearest is Leeds. It's a temperate climate. Temperature average. Wind common. Great. Um, and uh, domestic airports in the region 52. Right. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Let's go there. And uh, I think this is going to be the Yorkshire. I nearly put SH, which, uh, yeah. <laughs> right, there we go. Yorkshire Airport. No, 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 no. International. A three letter code uh, YRK. I know that's a three letter code for York Station. but uh, And you can choose your logo as well. Uh, so I reckon Airport York. I think that's brilliant. I mean, this is eventually going to lead to the closure of Leeds Bradford. We're going to go with a large map, and uh, not sandbox, of course. We'll, we'll actually play it where you have to research and develop stuff. Uh, should we go with moderate? can be challenging. It's not going to kill us. Start with two million in cash. Emergency events are rare. Let's go. Let's absolutely dive straight into this. Uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, I bought this for about £9 odds. You can't really argue. And I have become a little bit of an addict. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, even though I have played a little bit of this, I kind of have a rough idea what I'm doing. We're still going to work our way through the tutorial because it's got a really, really handy checklist uh, which will enable you to build, uh, you know, you, you know kind of roughly what you've got to build in order to get a functioning airport. And I don't know why the loading game world is stuck right down at the bottom. Come on, don't fail me now. Don't make me look like an idiot. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Right. So... Welcome to your airport grounds. Is this your first day on the job? Then let's go through a short introduction together. Now I'm going to click skip, even though that's offering you the tutorial, uh, because uh, it, I, I want to play the tutorial at my speed, not at theirs. So uh, here we are. This is the map. You've got a uh, you've got a, a road that leads to the outside world. It's kind of a, uh, a square, gridy style fashion, and uh, you've got these boxes around the edge which you are able to unlock. Ignore this in the corner, we'll address all that later. Now I've not actually got to the stage where I've unlocked a box, like I don't know if maybe this box will unlock once I've purchased this one, if it's like a kind of city skylines kind of a deal. I don't know, maybe this is all we have to play with. Not entirely sure. So here we are, uh, we're making £25 an hour. I don't quite know how we're making £25 an hour. Let's, let's speed it up. Uh, are we, are we, yeah? Oh no, now we're, now we're back to zero. Right, okay. So we're not making or losing any money, which, which you know, is a good start. So, let's have a look on the tutorial, see what we've got to do. So, the small airfield. Let, uh, learn to set up the basics to run a small airfield and handle your very first flight. Right. 
So we need to sign uh, a contractor, okay? And deploy contractors. Wait for contractors to arrive. Right, okay, so in the operations tab, or oh, is it economy? There we go, offer contracts. We've got two, we've got Brickley or HWY. Now I'm gonna go for the three stars with Brickley. Because, I mean, we want our airport to be to be decent, don't we? We don't want it to be, uh, you know, dropping in bits. <coughs> Excuse me. So, we can deploy some contractors. We've got 90 contractors available to us. I don't think we need 90 just yet, because obviously we have to pay them per hour. So, we'll deploy 20. There we go. And uh, we'll ring them, and hopefully they should... Christ, they come quick, don't they? They're on the bus already. That's a response time and a half. So that bus should come all the way up to uh, to this little drop off here, and uh, turn around and drop off our uh, our workers. There we go. Round he goes. It's kind of a bit of a jerky turn, but uh, that seems to be the thing in this game. And for some reason, they all seem to come out of the luggage racks. You know, maybe uh, we all store them underneath the bus. I guess you can fit more on doing that. I so say here we go. Here are our first twenty uh, workers. Brilliant. We might deploy more as time goes on, uh, because obviously the more contractors you have, the faster they will build things, and so and so. So, there we go. Let's have a look back at the tutorial. Uh, so we've completed section one. Prepare for construction. Done it. We're, uh, we're constructed. Time to get your hands dirty. Let's... Oh, that's uh, a yeah, bit of a space there. Let's get started with airport construction in order to receive your first general aviation flight. The image below is a... Uh, is, uh, kind of a suitable image. Right, okay. So, we need to basically, and I don't need to read that. Uh, we can we can essentially get away with doing that myself. So, aircraft infrastructure, let's have a runway. Do you know what? I think we're going to pop it right on the edge here, because it gives us more space uh, to play with in terms of our airports. We'll pop it right on the edge. It's going to be a grass runway. I don't really like the idea of a grass runway. I mean, the thing that I learned on this very, very quickly is uh, is that you need to start small? So we're gonna we're gonna pop you know one of you there, so they can come off a little bit earlier if they need to put four of them on. Yeah, you need to start small and work your way up. I wanted to start with like this huge terminal, and unless you do it on sandbox mode, you just it's not practical. You can't do it. So uh, so there we go. We'll put a taxiway down there. We'll outline the taxiway path. There we go. Up there, and then you can go down there, right the way down. And uh, I don't know if you can go diagonal. Maybe you can. I don't know. But the taxiway would look a bit weird if you went diagonal. So I don't think you need to build the taxiway path. I think you just out uh, define that yourself. And uh, and then we will have a load of stands down the side here. Now, uh, hang on. So the landing this way. So we shall put... Where's the stands? Taxiway aircraft stand. There we go. Right. One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten stands is enough, isn't it? I'd say so. I'd say so. There we go. Although I don't actually want that one there. There we go. We'll pop it at the other end. Uh, aircraft, airport infrastructure, aircraft stand. Yep. There we go. Right. So 10 stands, I think, will be enough. Now, because we're building uh, the, the this, we'll, we'll pop a load more contractors on. You will find that on this, I will deploy contractors, I'll take contractors off, I'll deploy more, take more off, because, again, you just have to pay them by hour. So these trucks here are delivering our boxes, which are workers, when they arrive. Oh, look, there's two buses. Flipping it, we must be having a lot. So when they arrive, you'll see they actually, look, here he comes. Uh, oh, she. Here she comes. There she goes. Margaret Robinson. Uh, she's coming to collect the boxes. And uh, she's going to take that box over to the runway. There we go. Any of them. There she goes. Look at Margaret go. <coughs> now, of course, these all have red on them. Yep, yeah, okay. The runway is the runway's not built yet. This is simply because it's not functional. It's not connected to a runway. So we've not got anything to worry about in terms of that. Although what we do need to do is we need to connect the taxiway to there, and the same again, same again. Hold on, why is, why is there no taxiway foundation? Oh, because they built it, right, yeah, because it's, it's a grass, grass taxiway, isn't it? Come on, Joe, keep up. 
we are going to move on to bigger planes later on, so do stick with this, even if you think, oh, it's a little bit slow at starting, uh, it does get quite hectic quite uh, quite quickly. There we go, look, oh my goodness me, we're dropping off more workers, flipping heck. I mean, obviously, like I said, the more you have, look, they oh, and another one's built. They'll just build square by square. Uh, the problem is, uh, is that it can take a little while. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We will speed things up. There you go, look at them all whizzing around like ants. Uh, yeah, they do things square by square as well, So, uh, and then they have to go back and get another box. So it does take a little bit of time. Uh, the good news is, is, once you've got an airport up and running, and you're making some cash, uh, it, it doesn't really matter. You know, you can have these construction projects going on in the background. Oh, there's a cow. That is a very quick moving cow. Right, so what we also need to do, while I remember, is we need to go on infrastructure. No, we don't. We need to go on terminal. And we need to put a fence around our airport. Now, the reason we need to put a fence around our airport, well, you're, you're going to know why we need to put a fence around our airport, because we've just seen it. The cow. Uh, the cow will uh, stroll onto the runway, as will other animals, and they will wreck our whole, uh, our whole operation. Because if planes crash into cows, then uh, then they get damaged, as I'm sure you can imagine. We're just going to put a fence all the way around, and we will put a fence gate. Now, this is obviously all subject to change. So, you know, if you're thinking, well, that's not very practical, Joe. Uh, hang on, what's, what's that? Fence gate. There we go. Right, so that's going to be where the gate is, so that our contractors can get through. There we go. Although the problem we've got is that the cow is now in the perimeter fence. Look, just casually strolling across the runway. We'll speed him up. There we go. Hopefully that is the last cow we'll see. Because obviously if the aircraft become damaged, then we've got a problem. Right. Keep going, men. Keep working. I mean, we're losing £5,000 an hour, which is not a good, sustainable way to run a business. There we go. Taxiway's just been finished. I think they'll probably do the runway last. Oh, they're doing the fence as well. Now, that, the fence is a good one to do, actually. Yeah, get the fence done fairly quickly so that hopefully it puts uh, potential livestock off invading our airport. We got any more? Any more for any more? Oh, they're all just whizzing up and down, aren't they? I mean, what's that? Oh, no. Is that a, a fox, a deer? Oh, it is a fox. Ooh. Yeah, get away, Mr. Fox. Maybe because we're putting up walls. They're like, oh, yeah, okay. Maybe I'm not meant to be here. Oh, they're, they're powering away there. Right, so runway is deactivated and will not open. Well, there we go, it's activated. Oh, no, it's not. You need an ATC tower. Right, okay. Uh, well, what we'll do is we'll put an ATC tower down at this end. Uh, ATC tower, there we go. We'll, uh, I'll tell you what, we won't pop him there. We'll pop him just over here. Uh, we'll, we'll have to wait for him to be built, of course. Uh, but yeah, we'll pop him down there. So he's a bit out of the way. Uh, we've got a bit of space to do things with. What I realised, the first airport I ever made on this, uh, and it didn't last long, actually, because I made it too compact. Um, you really do need to kind of spread your things out on this, because the stands are huge, but when you start getting like medium and large stands, they're like that big. They're really, really big indeed. Um, you know, you, you really do start to struggle on the old space side of things. The only thing I really don't want to happen, I don't want to trap an animal inside the fence, because then uh, we will have a problem. I see, look, they're, they're just finishing off, patching the few holes in. Round we go. Has anybody come to do the ATC tower yet? Because the sooner we open the airport, the uh, the sooner that we can start earning some cash. Oh, hang on. Night time's coming. Lights are going on. Oh, yeah, it's 1900. Flipping heck. Time flies when you're having fun. Although, to be fair, I'm rather impressed. We've managed to construct a small airfield in a day, which I think is pretty impressive. You know, HS2 has a lot to learn from uh, from this. You just buy a plot of land and off you go. Right, so let's see. Open the runway. There we go. These should all get happier. There we go. And, uh, and there we go, that is our airfield open for business. 
So let's have a look in the tutorial. Where have we gone? So uh, yeah, we've completed all that without even having to look at the, uh, at the steps, which is good. Get ready for general aviation flights to land. Now it's time to accept our first flight. At this time, we can only accept general aviation flights, a small type of aircraft operated by private pilots. And we've not got a commercial license. Right, okay, I actually need to tell it, uh, hang on, that we can accept... Oh yeah, general aviation, small aircraft. I need to tell it that we can accept... Uh, oh no, there we go, so it's on general aviation. No, it's... Um, I need to open the airport, that's what I need to do. I know what I'm looking for. There we go, dashboard. Uh, no. Operations, there we go. Allow general aviation, and airport is now open. Hooray! There we go, we have opened our airport. Uh, now, I don't know if general aviation is going to come in during the night, or whether that's going to uh, that's going to just pop in and out as it feels. See, these guys are all here now, so we'll, uh, we'll lay all the staff off. There we go. We'll... Oh, the, uh, the the steam funnel noise there as they all get sacked. Um, well, they're not getting sacked. They're just not required at this moment in time because then I won't have to pay for them. Because ob obviously, if you look uh, on there, uh, where does it say hourly cost per contractor? So you know it's it's costing quite a bit of money, isn't it? Uh, so there we go. Bus is coming to pick them up now. And uh, let's have a look. Where's our first plane? Come on, we should have one. Oh, there we go. Look, plane, plane, plane. Where's he come from? So, he is a Baron 58. That is a rather little chap, isn't he? He's coming off at the first uh, first taxi where there. I mean, he's not really, you know, taxiing quite quick there. And uh, he's come from South End Airport. South End Airport there. There we go. Doesn't it sound good? I love it. I absolutely love it. He's going to stay with us for 6 hours and 55 minutes. So I imagine he's going to bed. And then he's going to fly back again at 3.46 in the morning. Uh, he's only here once. <laughs> this is a, a once-in-a-lifetime thing. And he doesn't require any uh, any services office. <coughs> Excuse me, flipping heck. I don't even know why I'm coughing. My cough's got better. It's not what you need, is it? So there we go. He's going to pay us a landing fee. If we click on the money, we'll see that. There we go. Income from aircraft. He's paid us £100 or $100 for parking fees. He's then paid us 500 to use the runway. It's an expensive thing, this flying, isn't it? Really is. Crikey Moses. So, uh, so there we go. They're all getting picked up. And uh, what do we need to continue doing? Because even though we've not got, uh, you know, even though we're, uh, we're, we're not got anything to do at the moment, it doesn't mean to say that we can't be doing things. Absolutely not. So we need to wait for five general aviation flights to land. Let's move on to the next step, because, I mean, we can read it, can't we, without, uh, while that's happening. Place a vehicle checkpoint to connect public and service roads. Right, so we need to build some roads. And this is so that vehicles can get into the airport inside the fence. Clever, really. Oh, another plane's here. Where have you come from? You've come from Blackpool. Can only wonder what the point is. Why didn't you just get the train? There's an old service every hour. Uh, right. Okay, so, zones and rooms. No, that's obviously not what it is. Vehicle checkpoint. Let's pop you there. And you're going to get rid of the fence. And uh, let's have... Uh, yeah, so, you can set to work on that. And uh, the public road can go there. Lovely. And then we need the, uh, the maintenance road, which, in this instance, can be grass. There we go, and that'll connect up with this road here, so that we can actually service our aircraft. Now, these guys here, unfortunately, this truck is now stuck, because they're taking the mick getting on the bus. Come on, guys. Yeah, you're holding up production here. There we go. Now these chaps can get to work. Again, I know there's only 20 of them, but... <clears throat> All right, they're going to... They're going to potter away there. What else do we need to do? Drag the service road, connect it to your aircraft stand. Place a vehicle depot or service vehicle parking lot and get some fuel. Right, okay. Because the fuel, we can then service our aircraft. Uh, we can give them, we can sell them fuel, which makes us additional money. Right, so service road. Let's, uh, let's have you just kind of generically coming up here. And Because uh, you can be doing that. Now we need... A, uh, hang on, where are we? Vehicle checkpoint? No, I think it's aircraft side. 
Service vehicle parking lot. There we go. Let's uh, let's shove one of you on there. So that's where our vehicles can park up when they're not in use. And then we need an Avgas fuel depot. There we go. We'll uh, we'll shove you just next door. So obviously all this is going to need to be built. Um, which is uh, there we go. So we'll speed it up again so that our contractors can be uh, pinging away there. There we go, roads all connected. We need the checkpoint building, guys. Because otherwise nobody can get through. Look at that, that's brilliant. I'm hoping that eventually it will give you the option to have tarmac all the way through. I can't see it knock. You can't have grass going to an international airport, can you? There we go. What's going on up here now for the building? Keep going, guys. Oh, they're whizzing in and out of the gate there. I'm determined that we're going to have this small airfield built today. Mm, there they go. Whizzing away. We've got a stretch of road there. Brilliant. I don't know why they're just doing one side of the road at once. Come on, do the other side as well while you're here. Mm, mm, they're carrying on, look. Flying up and down. They're absolutely shattered from, uh, from all the walking. Oh, more planes. Oh, look, we've we've got a lot of planes in. And they're all paying us money, which is good. Let's have a look on the... Uh, I mean, we're still losing money. But this hour, uh, previous hour, we made £3,200. And we were up. Even though it was saying we were losing money, uh, we were actually in the green, which is good. So we're kind of fluctuating. We're not really losing money. I mean, I'm hoping when we can sell fuel to them uh, that we'll be able to make a bit more cash uh, with that also. Come on, keep going, keep going. God, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. Who's landed General Aviation at 3 o'clock in the morning? Can't make it up, can you? And they just kind of just look after themselves. Look, there you go. One in, one out. Landed lights on. Off he goes. Way. £500 for using the runway. They're all paying us for, uh, for using the parking. And another 500 for him landing. You know, so it's it's quite easy to make money off general aviation. I mean, you're never going to make big bucks, but, you know, oh, there we go. So we've got a fuel depot now, so we can sell fuel to them. I mean, I imagine we've completed the task of servicing uh, five general aviation flights. Uh, where are we there? There we go. Wait for five to land. We've done it. And then we've, come, we've done this bit as well, weirdly enough. And, uh, right, so we need to operate the refueling service. So we need to go into vehicles and purchase a fuel truck. There we go. We'll just order one of them. Uh, actually, no, do you know what? Oh, hang on. Yeah, you've, you've messed that up now. Uh, but while we're doing that, we're going to say we could really do with two of them. Because uh, now that we've got so many, I mean, you could do with one of them. I'd think one per five stands is acceptable. But when you get a lot of aircraft, if they're all demanding fuel, one does not cut the mustard, unfortunately. So uh, let's have a look at contracts. Now we can have Zip Fuel or Nature Fuel or Avi Fuel. Now uh, they've got different. <coughs> Excuse me. They've got different uh, different star ratings. So ah, hang on. One forty-five per liter. So they they pay you different amounts. Two hundred thousand liters. Zip Fuel. What are you doing? So two hundred one pound fifty-two. One pound sixty. Well, you see, this is. Hmm. See, they're the same, really, aren't they? Except, uh, yeah, zip fuel is cheaper. Yeah, you see, it, it's it's cheaper, and I mean, that it says that that's two star, but but that's you get exactly the same for cheaper. Problem with Avi fuel is it costs a lot more. It delivers four hundred thousand liters. Yeah, I think that's the American spelling of litres, i.e. wrong. Uh, the fuel supplier will deliver 400,000. I don't think we need 400,000. I mean, how much can this fit in? <laughs> 30,000 litres. Yeah, you. so there's no point. So we'll just go with the cheaper one, Zip Fuel. There we go. So he's going to deliver. Now, I want you to... Uh, I want that to be full. But also, uh, when the truck arrives... Where is the truck? Is he here yet? No, oh, here he comes. He's uh, yeah, clearly not in a rush. There we go. Can we can we follow him? He's going to turn left. 
he's making a right meal of it, isn't he? The guy doing the delivering. He's clearly paid by the hour, so if he takes longer. Uh, oh, hang on, zip fuel's turned around and left. That's not what we need. No oh, dear. I mean, I don't know quite how these, these big tankers... Oh, barriers going up. I don't know how these big tankers are going to cope with driving up and down on grass. Oh, lights are on now because we're airside. See, it's little things like that that I absolutely love. Absolutely love to bits. You know, the detailing is just great. Little details like that that really do just make a game for me. I mean, yeah, okay, it's 2D. It could perhaps do with being 3D. Just whiz him up here. And he's going to park up. There we go. Eventually, we'll have this full of service vehicles, and it'll look awesome. Let's actually, while we're here, we'll order another one. Uh, right, there we go. Order another, because uh, cause they're going to be kept rather busy. So, have we got some fuel coming, please? Uh, yeah, we, we need some zip fuel. There we go. Here we goes. Way. Again, articulated wagons driving on uh, driving on grass. Who'd have thunk it? I mean, the slightest bit of rain and they'll all be uh, they'll all be bogged down. There we go. So he's delivered, and now this guy is going to come and fill up with fuel. There we go. Brilliant. Oh, and they're going to crash into each other. Brilliant. Also, right. So because uh, he connect, if you look, he's going to fill. To, uh, so there'll only be 33% left if I've worked it out right. There we go. So we'll have it that we want resupplying at 35%. So basically, when one of these guys fills up, we want a new batch of fuel. Now I think two wagons with that will be absolutely fine. I can't see a problem. This guy's now going to come and fill up and there won't be enough. There's more general aviation, but what does he want? Oh, we won't want anything, because uh, I don't think operations... There we go. We will supply them with fuel. So he actually wants fuel, though, if you look on requested services. I mean, he's come all the way from Bournemouth, so of course he's going to want fuel. How much have you got? You've got 100% of your fuel on. So hopefully when this guy arrives... There we go. He's going to... Hey, there he goes. He's setting off now. I mean, he's not in a hurry. Clearly he knows that he's not going out for 8 hours and 7 minutes, so there's no point rushing, is there? But uh, there we go, he's going to come down to here. There he goes. And, uh, and the chap is actually going to get out, and uh, and he's going to fuel the plane, look at that! There we go, charge him for it, charge him through the nose. You know, we need to make some money here. So, uh, so there we go, the fueling is complete. Refuel five general aviation aircraft, and when we've done that, uh, then uh, then we will have completed our small airfield, which I think, you know, and maybe I'm just saying this because it was me that built it, but I think it looks pretty good, to be honest with you. What do you want? I think when you uh, when you actually get to the point of uh, of starting your fuel, I think they all want fuel when they arrive. They they pretty much all do. Now he's here. Come on, just turn left. Just turn left. Ah, there we go. I thought he was going to drive all the way past to come all the way back again, but he did use his brain. He was like, hang on, there's a there's a thing there. And uh, it turns out, yeah, it says zip fuel on it. I didn't realise. And uh, Oh, it's got my, my uh, branding on it as well. That's brilliant. I'd never noticed that before, as has that one. How much have you got on? You've got zero. And uh, you have nothing in the tank. Oh, no. Could do with being refueled, guys. You know, we, we need a... Uh, I wonder when that runs out, will he just go and sit down? Yes, he will. He won't sit there just blocking it. There we go. He's off to sit down as well. Oh, here comes the zip fuel. Nope. Turning round and going. <laughs> <coughs> For goodness sake. Why can't you uh, just go? Go and fill us up. We need fill it. Oh, another plane. You want, you want that as well. <coughs> right, okie dokie, well, there we are. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty impressed I've managed to do all that in half an hour, because it's no mean feat, is it, building an airport? Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, next time, we're going to move on to... Hang on, where are we? Tutorial. 
There we go, we're going to move on to building a regional airport and that is where we start getting a little bit more interesting. If you have enjoyed today's video, please do click that like button. I'm really enjoying Airport CEO, as you can probably tell, and, uh, and I'm hoping the videos are popular. You know, sometimes when you try a new game, it's great and loads of people love it and sometimes it's an absolute disaster. But yeah, I'm really loving this and I'm hoping you are too. If you have enjoyed it, click that like button because it helps the video do better and then of course if it's a well, uh, if it's a popular video, then I'll do loads of them. And uh, of course, if you do want to keep up with the series and you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button uh, so that you do get notified when new videos come out. Other than that, like I say, thanks so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time. Cheerio. Goodbye for now.